Hey everybody, Dieter Bone here for Trio Central, and we are taking a look at Windows Mobile 6 on the AT&T Trio 750. I'm so excited I can't even set the zoom on the camera right. And uh, when you first get it installed, it's going to jump to this screen that says initializing your Trio. In the background, uh, the Trio is installing all of the Palm custom apps. It's actually the right way to uh, deal with uh, Windows Mobile. Uh, and so we're just going to wait for it to do that. And it uh, it's going to take a little while. Waited quite a long time for this update, so this uh, extra couple of minutes of waiting is kind of grating on me. Uh, let's see. No, no. Right. Anyway, uh, Windows Mobile 6 on the Trio 750 offers a whole ton of improvements over Windows Mobile 5. Uh, in your actual day-to-day -day experience, the thing that you're going to notice is it's going to be a little bit faster, a little bit smoother, and uh, just uh, overall going to feel a little bit better. Um, I'm going to jump through the uh, setup things here while I continue talking. Some of the uh, features, extra features that you're going to get on uh, Windows Mobile 6 on the Trio 750. Uh, number one, improve Windows Vista compatibility. It's actually going to work. Uh, so that's great. It'll sync with that. Uh, email, a ton of improvements in email. Number one, it will support HTML email, which is great. So you can uh, not have all kinds of weird characters when you look at your email there. Uh, the other thing, my favorite feature, it's called smart filtering. So when you're in your email inbox, you can just start typing and it'll automatically filter down to the names or the subject lines of uh, the people in your inbox or the thing that you're searching for. And if you're on an Exchange server, it will even actually go to the Exchange server and grab old emails that may have fallen off your device. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's compatible with Windows Mobile 5 completely. It'll work with everything. Um, they've just added a whole bunch of really cool features. And then it uh, looks like we're going to we're gonna go and take a look and see what else has been added on by AT&T. So we're just waiting for this thing to boot up. And then we will uh, take a peek. Okay, so here we are. It's the home screen. You've got the nice big AT&T logo in the background. And since it's the first boot, it's going to take a while. Now, the other nice thing that it adds is uh, HSDPA support, full 3G HSDPA, not just UMTS, so much, much faster internet, uh, which is great. Uh, unfortunately, we're in an edge-only area here, so I won't be able to show you the little H logo to show you that you're getting the high-speed internet. We're just jumping through the, uh, the getting to know you introduction thing here. And so here's the home screen. It looks very familiar. Not a whole lot of changes there, except that there's a little bit more eye candy. You can see the gradients on the menu, so it just feels a little bit nicer. And my favorite thing to do with any new device is jump into settings, of course. And looking at this, the settings look about the same. So let's just verify here that we're looking at Windows Mobile 6. There it is, Windows Mobile 6 Professional, based on uh, CE5, Windows CE5, and uh, 48.92 megs of uh, memory free. So that's very nice. And uh, so there you go. Let's uh, talk about some of the other new features that are there. Um, mute calls uh, and a speakerphone are uh, much more easy to get to when you're on a call. There's just a big button for those. Uh, we can see here they've added the AT&T Mall, AT&T Music, cellular video, so some custom AT&T apps, little stubs to download Telenav and get Moby TV. And hey, look at that, internet sharing. Internet sharing on Windows Mobile 6 is really, really nice. You just turn it on, set it to USB or a Bluetooth personal area network, and a PC or even a Mac will just uh, see it. And just you get online, no hacks. It's very clean, very easy. Calendar has some nice improvements here. There's this ribbon across the top that shows you your, your busy times and your not busy times. So you can see just at a glance, even if you have a lot of appointments, what you've got free on any given day. So that's really nice. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Here's the inbox. I mentioned the smart filtering and the HTML email. The other thing that's really nice is setting up a new email account is actually much improved. If you've got a standard Gmail or Yahoo account, it grabs those settings uh, online automatically, so it's uh, very easy to configure. And then, of course, here's the messaging. Uh, the Trio 750, as it's a Trio, has threaded text messaging, as they all should, the 700WX notwithstanding. And what else can we take a look at here? Let's jump back into programs. Oh, one last thing. It also includes Office Mobile. Uh, I suspect you're going to need to download the update to Office Mobile 6.1, which is a free upgrade if you want to look at Office 2007 files. So be sure to do that. There you go. Windows Mobile 6 on the Trio 750. It is out at long last. Uh, we're going to take a much closer look at it and delve deeper into the features in a future article. But we just wanted to show you that it exists. Yeehaw.